finish up tonight with the, the Turkey Buzzard song. Which is, in a sense, the last poem of Lou's, uh, and uh, the one that uh, answers, in a way, his own predictions, uh, at least for his own flesh. Though, as we can all see, his mind is traveling right on, uh, alive and well, amongst us all. Song of the Turkey Buzzard. Praises come of bias. Perfect in wisdom and beauty, she of the wheeling birds. The writer riddle is easy to ask, but the answer might surprise you. How desperately I wanted cougar, I, Leo, etc. Brilliant proofs, terrain, Color, food, all nonsense, all made up. They were always there, the laziest high flyers, bronze winged, the silent ones. A cunning man always laughs and smiles, even if he's desperately hungry. When a good bird, while a good bird always flies like a vulture, even if he is starving, saying Milarepa. Over and over again that sign. I hit one once with a twenty-two, heard the flack, and a feather flew off. He flapped his wings just once and went on sailing, bronze when seen from above. As I have seen them all day sitting, on a cliff so steep they circled below me in the updraft, passed so close I could see his eye. Praise Tom Pius, perfect in wisdom and beauty, she of the wheeling birds. Another time the vision was so clear that another saw it too. Wet, a hatching bird. The shell of the egg streaked with dry scum, exhausted, wet, too weak to move the shriveled wings, fierce sun heat, sand, twitching as with elbows, we all have the same parts, beak open, neck stretched, gasping for air. Oh, how we all want to live. Poor little bird. She said, he'll never make it. Praises, Tom Pius, perfect in wisdom and beauty, she of the whirling birds. Even so, I didn't get it for a long while. It finally came in a trance, a coma, half in sleep, half in fever mind. A turkey buzzard, wounded, found by a rock on the mountain. He wanted to die alone. I had never seen one wild so close. When I reached out, he sidled away, head drooping as dizzy as I was. I put my hands on his wing shoulders and lifted him. He tried feebly to tear at my hands with his beak. He tore my flesh too slightly to make any difference. And then he tried to heave his great wings. Weak as he was, I could barely hold him up then. A drunken veterinarian found a festering bullet in his side, a twenty-two, that slid between the great bronze scales his feathers were. We removed it and cleansed the wound. Finally, he ate the rotten gophers that I'd trapped and prepared for him. Even at first, he drank a lot of water. My dog seemed frightened of him. They smell sweet. Meat is dry on their talons, the very opposite of death. 
bird of rebirth, buzzard? Meat is rotten meat made sweet again and lean, unkillable, wing-locked, sorer till he's but a speck in the highest sky, infallible. I finds feast on baked concrete, free, squashed red ripened like good cheese, to keep the highways clean and bother no other beings. Praises gentle Tamil Pius, perfect in wisdom and beauty of the sweetest water and the soaring birds. Great seas at the feet of thy cliffs. So, here my last will and testament. Among my friends there shall always be one with proper instructions for my continuance. Let no one grieve. I shall have used it all up, used up every bit of it. What an extravagance, what a relief. On a marked rock, following his orders, Place my meat. All care must be taken not to frighten the natives of this barbarous land who will not let us die even as we wish. With proper ceremony, disembowel what I no longer need, that it might more quickly rot and tempt my new form. Not the bronze casket, but the brazen wing, soaring forever above thee, O oh, perfect, O oh, sweetest water, O oh, glorious, wheeling bird. tonight, all of you, and I especially thank those who uh, joined in with no preparation and no schedule, hardly, but their great spirit to read poems and to speak about tonight that we all can share. Thank you very much.